Welcome back to Team Fat Kid Choose the Fat. I am Jason. This is Alex. This is Dennis. This, this is Dooley. And we have... <laughs> Sorry. And we have Melissa on the line uh, from... Sorry. There it is. You're back in. You can hear us, right? Yep. All right. <laughs> and we have Melissa from Food... <laughs> For from food for thought yeah. podcast. Wait, hold on. Is this yes. it? It's <laughs> from food the for food thought for cast. cast. The food for thought cast. <laughs> Got it. So we were just talking about uh, chefy things, and um, our our last conversation, we were discussing. I totally drew a blank. Alex, where were we? We had so much. We had, damn, it was too long. All right. <laughs> I'm stuck on the fact that you did the Monday. It was a fun time. Party cast. <clears throat> yeah. Because technically, it is Monday. Uh, just because it's late on Monday doesn't mean it's not Monday. But it's the party cast. <laughs> I mean, it is. It is. It's always a party cast. Just saying. All right. It's always a party. What do you tap to speak, Dooley? What yeah, do you, you tap to speak. You just actually speak, Dooley. I mean, you yeah, are allowed. Like, I, I just don't. You, know, yeah, you use your buttons. Because then I just realized that like all my topics are on my phone. So Wi-Fi, uh, <laughs> dialing. Sorry, we gotta move you around. I got we'll it. I got it. I got it. Because yeah, like you see this fingers moving around. Like what the hell is this? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. just don't worry about me. Wait, it's all good. Dooley, mute your mic. Oh, that, that, uh, there it is. There it is. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh. All right. <laughs> Amateur is, hour. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's just this, this is. This is good pod right yeah, here. This is, this is pretty much how it always goes. <laughs> this is radio gold right here. Oh, Unprofessional. Like Thursday. Unprofessional. Hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm really composing an email. I'm going to send this to you, Dooley. Open up the email real fast. I'm in. I'm in. No one cares about the fact that you're in. Open up the email. <laughs> it's already technically open. <laughs> how not. long on the email, Dooley? <laughs> a, 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 two, two minutes. minutes. Jason. Two it's, minutes. it's my fault right now. Hold on. I got it. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. Dooley hasn't even switched screens. I don't think he knows you're serious. Dooley, click on the email. I have not gotten the email. I'm sending one right now. So if no, you... Dooley, computer, keyboard, email. Oh, you're giving Dooley oh, too many electronics. He's, he's, like, he's like picking up his phone. Like, I haven't gotten the email. Like, Dooley, he's the, the same thing we do every week, Dooley. I has... Hit, hit refresh. I has problems mental. The same thing we do every week. <laughs> Not everywhere, okay. Well, Don't. usually I'm more prepared. <laughs> to be true. fair, he wouldn't have found the email looking through his but, phone. To be fair. To, to be fair. fair. To be fair. To be fair. Oh, oh. <laughs> so start of that shit. Yeah. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> All right. So, so I've got a topic already loaded. If Dooley ever would click on it. it, you know, I um, mean, he opened yeah, the email. It's going to be three emails, Dooley, because I was trying to expedite quickly. All right, so this is a good one, Melissa. Uh, this one is... Let's go. It's 12 surprising official state foods. All Let's right? do it. All right, so what do you think New York's state food is? Oh, my God. That is not... not that what I, would have, yeah, yeah. I would never have picked this one. Nope. I mean, is it bagel? You would you, think. You would I'll think be honest. That. You would you think would think. Uh, think more dairy. What? Yeah, yeah. yogurt. Right? Okay, it's so. Yogurt. Yogurt, yeah. No, it's not. I, yeah. Apparently. I refuse. <laughs> apparently, yeah, New York's official state food is yogurt. Yeah, totally. That's what oh I think gosh. about. You would think pizza even, you know, like shit, but no. Bagels. I was, bagels. Yeah, well, I thought if it's not going to be pizza, it has to be bagel. I don't, should I accept the Yogurt? Bagel? I would say no. I'm joking. I'm not really going to. All right, well, Dooley, you can scroll down to number two. All right, well, this is a good one because this is Texas. What do you think Texas is? What's their official state food? Oh, what is the your state's official state food? Chili or brisket? Nope. Uh, Neither one? Think simple. Doesn't even involve meat. Chips and salsa. No, it's not. Oh, my gosh. Who wrote this? Uh... <laughs> Ah, Interestingfacts.com. Yes. Mm. What is number three? Uh, Illinois. Coming in with popcorn. Anybody? Oh, Garrett's, nice I guess. Out. There you go. <laughs> South <laughs> Carolina. Yeah. yeah. I, I think it's my fault, but I'm not 100%. I will blame Jason. That's yeah, fine. fine. Uh, I, had to, I had to do yeah, things. Yeah, it's not me. South Carolina oh. 
actually sounds like something Virginia might be known for. Yeah, right. Yeah, boiled peanuts. Does anyone like this? No. Nastiness. Have you no. ever had boiled peanuts? And they sell them in a can, which is gross. Yes. No. That's mm. like canned asparagus. Uh, you can at least not dress so that gross. up, though. Keep scrolling, Dooley. What's five? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Utah is jello. In the state, you're not allowed to have sugar. Say the state again. You guys broke up for just a second. Utah is jello jello a state where you're not allowed uh, to have sugar because it's against uh, the fucking mormon re- religion official snack of the beehive the state Mormons. since 2001 just you know in case you wanted to know how long jello has been official uh i'm huh. assuming was that before bill cosby that sounds like before uh, you know you think they would first you it take the roofie then you jello. put it in the pudding <laughs> <pop> that <laughs> sounds more like utah God, take uh, the jello pudding. if you put the, the roofie in the pop yeah. Let's do the pudding. Number six is uh, <laughs> Nebraska with Kool Aid. Is that a food? Does that count as a food? That is not a food. It's a fruit flavored beverage. They reclaimed part of its heritage by naming Kool Aid the official state soft drink in 1998. Really? Is it a soft drink? It's not carbonated. Well, it was invented in Hastings in 1927. So apparently it fruit- was invented in Nebraska in the first That's place. That's a fruit flavored pudding. Still, that's not a food. That shouldn't count. Uh, number seven, Oklahoma. Again, I feel like this is not a food. An entire southern meal. Are we talking breakfast or dinner? If these pictures uh, were fucking black and white. picture's in black and white. Yeah, that looks a lot like if you're following Fried along chicken, at home, it's interestingfacts.com. Uh, chicken, gravy. Do you think that's like, chicken? Yeah. Is that meatloaf? Is it black and white? Yeah. It is oh, black and white. Okay. Or grayscale, at least. Like, it, is, it is a really shitty photo. Hold on. Biscuit, mashed potatoes, coleslaw. Can you see that? Hold on. Potato salad. I don't know why uh-huh. my camera stopped. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Fucking pudding. There. Mine didn't. I can see me, but I can't see anybody else. I hope that me moving the camera oh. allows her to see the photo, because obviously if it's a still screen, she won't be able to see it. <laughs> but, uh, hopefully you got a shot of that. Uh. That's what they said, though? Just an entire southern meal? An entire yeah. southern Why have a state snack when you... Jar. Why do you always got to scroll the wrong way? I'm sorry, but Oklahoma barely qualifies as the South. <laughs> Thank you. <I> <laughs> I don't think they are in the I South. I kind of agree with that. They're north of Texas. Isn't it one of They're the pl- Midwest adjacent. I'll say, isn't it like the Plains states? Yeah, yeah, seriously. Yeah, I would go with that. Oh, this is bullshit. Louisiana is the only <laughs> other state to have also designated an official meal in 2015. So you guys can't pick a food. You got to go for a full meal. What, what, what was the meal? I, it it doesn't say that. Shrimp and grits. It doesn't say that. I'm a, may, maybe we'll find it farther down. Number eight is Indiana with the... Who's your pie? It's called it's a Hoosier, Hoosier pie. It's Hoosier, Hoosier pie. pie. It's given to you by Who's Your Daddy. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, Poppy. So, I'm going to give him a name the poppy for pie? pie. The Poppy Pie. So you don't know who gave it to you? Shoe no. fly, don't bother me. <laughs> Number nine, New Mexico. Biscachito? Uh, Am okay. I reading that one right? That, that, I mean, I would... I would assume that's how you would say it, but... Yeah, it's Bisconchito. Like, yeah, it's almost I mean, like... Yeah. A, I mean, you're New Mexico adjacent. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're closer than us. I don't know if that's adjacent. Number 10. What do you got? Alabama. Lane cake. What the hell is lane cake? Lane what? cake was a lesser known regional dessert. Uh, there are several variations of the multi-layered cake, but the filling rarely strays from the mixture of pecans, coconut... Whiskey soaked raisins. I mean, at least we're getting into something right. good there. We whiskey uh, soaked some raisins before. Sugar, eggs, and butter. The recipe. Well, that was for a drink. The recipe and <laughs> cake's namesake originated, originated with Emma Rylander Lane, who uh, uh, even won a Clayton. Uh, I don't know what the hell that so is. This is Lane, that, like yeah. L A N E? Yes. It's, 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 it's okay. after the Fair. Arthur of To Kill a Mockingbird. Yeah. My, my best friend is in Alabama right now. I'm asking. This uh, is crazy. Lane what year cake. was this written? <laughs> that is a good question. Uh, number 11, I'm kind of interested in because of all the things. So yeah. Rhode Island has calamari. You'd think quahogs. Uh, you, could wow. think, you could think anything cold Clams. water fish, to yeah. be honest. But yeah, like calamari is not where I would have gone. Uh, oh, that's a good one. 54% uh. of the supply in the region <laughs> and the aquatic creature being brought to shore oh. than any other type of seafood. Really? Rhode Island lays supply in the region and often more of the aquatic creature. Uh, oh, shit. 
Yes. Lays claim to being the squid capital of the Northeast. So 54% of the supply of squid comes from Rhode Island. I did not know that. Squid is Rhode Island. Wow. We're going to, like, sorry, there's there's a segue right there that is, yeah. like, right there in front of us. But we're going to keep moving on to number 12 before we go back to that segue. But the whoopie pie for Maine. I get it. Not the lobster roll. Yeah, you would pie. honestly think that lobster would be it for me. Yeah, I'm good with the whoopie pie. But the pie. whoopie no, pie, I've never what? had. No, what? This, isn't this like the state food? It's official state foods. Yes, official. surprisingly Surpri- official. State surprisingly foods. official. Yeah, of this course. Happens a lot. You would think it was me. Like, yeah. I mean, I just. But surprisingly, the whoopie pie is like the, the cookie, pie. right? It's uh, like the cake cookie. It. It's almost like a moon pie. He yeah. Too far. Yeah, you went way too far, Dooley. Where'd you go? Oh, well, he, he, no, he lost it. I don't know, but ad. most people don't use the Pony Express. Yeah, what the fuck was that? Jeez. Well, the Pony Express has been around <laughs> since like. Maybe they use the Horsey born. Express. No one uses the ponies anymore. They're too tiny. Because <laughs> you, you like to get. Let's the, click Because you, you like to get the digs in. So I was gonna say. You gotta go since back I was and, born, that's and when click on the it. dumbest states, dude. Like I just want to know what we're getting. That was an ad, so I gotta look it up. No, you could just go hey, to the you next couldn't topic. Just click on it. Oh, you want to go down that road? You could just go to the next topic. Let's not let's oh. not click on ads. That's oh, in the email. Idea. Yeah, that's. I feel like the email is probably a better. Yeah, that's definitely a better way to go. Better format. I mean, I can I can look up huddle dot house real quick, but oh no, we never yeah. huddle. <laughs> <you> never <laughs> huddle dot house. <laughs> never huddle dot house anything. It's uh, never huddle dot house. No, no, it's gonna show up when that comes in. <laughs> We've done this one before, have we? Yeah. Then move no, on. Yeah, we have. Well, that's okay. We can bring it up for Melissa and see what her take on it is. A uh, study reveals that over half of fish sold in Southern California restaurants are mislabeled and misleading. It really got into like things that were labeled as tilapia were not tilapia. Uh-huh. Uh, they uh-huh. were, you know, obviously. I remember the big grouper thing back uh, 2000. I'm going to age. Uh, 2004. Six, maybe like grouper was being mislabeled yep. tremendously if I remember this article also got into like the difference between shrimp and prawns yeah like just yeah. size differencing being labeled incorrectly and yeah mislabeling fish is like pretty it's... far down but was still on my list of menu pet peeves oh, uh, oh. Sea, sea bass for one Chilean that reminds me bees yeah. are fish bees are fish that bees is are right. fish I, <laughs> did you know about this is serious California yeah, I saw that article. Passed yep. the whole law that that and that brings in the question: Is honey seafood? I think it is. I, you know, <laughs> I mean, I, it's technically fish poop. I don't say is it roe. Uh, no, honey wouldn't be roe. Well, it's eggs. it would be vomit, right? Yeah, but it doesn't doesn't sound appealing. Would be honey that way. I mean, oh, is it is it? I w- I'm assuming it's vomit. Yeah, so we can hear that. Oh. Yeah, whatever. You're doing. I, don't know. I, was just, I was just trying to figure out why my camera stopped working. No, okay. I went to drive safe mode. Uh, Probably because I logged <laughs> out and I was on your email. Oh, okay. Well, at least at least you can show her the screens. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, what's the next one, Dylan? Oh, I had a good one. Um, did, like the. Uh, I don't think it's on ni- this screen, Dooley. You have to go back to the email. <laughs> the There's nineteen no crimes. Email. So, you know, Snoop made, like, a 19 Crimes one, right? And so they reviewed it. And... Go ahead. Click it. It's the same There's, one. Oh. It says unread. Yeah, I know. It's the same one, though. Is it the same? Did I do it twice? Yep. Oh, you sent the same link twice. Well, that's oh, not... Fantastic. This that's is not a party cast. Small. This is definitely a party cast. This is not fair, <laughs> I was not prepared. You started this. Yes, you I did. Oh, did. Dooley, you didn't click on the new link. Hey, Dooley, just go, over, go to Ranker real quick. We can always find something good there. No, oh, here it is. Oh, oh. Okay, never mind. Well, I mean, yeah, you can always find something good on Ranker, but I'm going to send this one real fast because this was the one I was supposed right, to send. It's right there. Just here we go. It's right there underneath the search box. <laughs> Texas barbecue. What? Are you are you a beef or a pork? Texas barbecue is beef. Um, it's I'm asking the Texan. <laughs> oh, not me. Got it. <laughs> I'm probably not the one to ask. I'm a traitor to Texas barbecue. Oh, why? I was going to say. Because I like. I, because I like Carolina better. Ooh. Okay, so again, I mean, that, that's, yeah. wrong. that's more about the sauce. Are you no, vinegar? I mean, like, is it a vinegar it thing? Is, yeah, it's the acid thing. But yes, if we're talking about Texas barbecue, I want beef. Brisket or beef ribs. Like, pork is whatever. Hey, trimmed or untrimmed on your brisket. See, I just think that in Texas, not a lot of pigs. And they're not, <laughs> they're not, they're not doing it right. 
And in the South, we po folks, we don't have a lot of cows. <laughs> so we use, a mean, lot of, we use a lot of pork. <laughs> you do know Texas I mean, is in the South, it, right? Just to clarify. That is not it makes the sense. South. It is on the other side of the Mississippi. I don't even think Louisiana is in the South. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for brisket, it's, trimmed or untrimmed? Uh, untrimmed. Yes. Yeah, of untrimmed. It's always untrimmed. Well, yeah, but the yep. problem is you all those stupid ass little you know, barbecue pit master shows where they trim all the fat off, and then they're like, "What we're doing here is we're putting the squeeze butter on here to keep it nice and juicy." And I'm like, "Well, you don't want the <laughs> fucking fat off of it, so why not?" I had to put this parquet <clears throat> on here to put the moisture back in. Exactly. Like, what the <laughs> fuck, man? What, what you got? What you got here? Oh, I sent an email. About well, purpose. I'm waiting for him to scroll down so I can read the title. Yeah, I'm, you, didn't you write? No. No, we went yeah. to Ranker. That's why that was. Okay. Oh, I thought he was on the new email. Already. Yeah. Like, I was like ready to jump in his Sorry, time. Sorry, Melissa. This is going to be a shorter podcast than normal. <laughs> no, you're totally fine. Right. <laughs> so we're not going to do all of these, obviously. Oh yeah, but said two so. The it best is. classic hamburger in every U.S. state. I do want to clarify. It says hamburger. Hamburger. Not huh. cheeseburger. Uh-huh. Just to clarify. I don't know if that's going to make a difference in this. So this is Alabama. Yeah, you were right, Julie. That's just the... I'm just making sure this is... Original photo. That looks dry as shit anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, what is this, Alabama? Whiskey yeah. Foxtrot Burger? The Wixie... Whiskey Foxtrot. Like, what the fuck burger? Yeah. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Combination of beef patty with all the trimmings, lettuce, tomato, ketchup, pickles, and mustard, plus cheese. So this is a cheeseburger. This is cheating. Uh, the it's, blueprint, if you wish for the perfect classic hamburger. The Funky Burger Joint has a small but perfect huh. menu with just four options. Nice. I wish we could do that. Four uh, options, that's it. <laughs> again, Alaska has the Tommy's Burger Stop. For some reason, pickles and ketchup seem to be pretty big on this whole. If and, you're just going to have one, a burger. And one piece of lettuce. Well, I think like when you're having like the fat in a burger, I you feel need like the acidity of the pickle is important. Pickles, yes. Ketchup, no. You can weigh in here at any time. Do you not like ketchup, or are you just not like it on a burger? He doesn't like ketchup. He hates ketchup. He won't oh, eat it on fries. Well, then you don't get a ketchup well, okay. opinion. Hold, hold on, hold on. <laughs> his one guilty pleasure, though, is, is stealing fries that have ketchup drizzled all over. That's no. his guilty pleasure. No, it's yeah. not. No, he likes mayonnaise. Don't let him fool you. That. No, like, like, no, I will steal. Like, if you if you go into like the the serial killer, I'm gonna squirt ketchup all over my yeah. French fries. Oh no, I got one. I will steal one. One. <laughs> I one. will steal one. That is it, though. Like yeah, that's it. Like that's all I need. If you go serial or putting mayonnaise all over your fries, he oh, will eat I'll, the entire order. I will become the serial killer. I will t- and, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, <laughs> so I love mayonnaise over, on my fries. Over too. the years, I have I've sought out burgers specifically for unique ingredients. So um, I might have some really strange opinions on this, but I do think you need the ketchup. It's the sugar and the ketchup and the acid from the pickles with the umami from the meat. You I would, think you need. I think you're on your sweet and savories again. And I told you it's in every meal. It's know, not an exaggeration. I, I get it, but I think the high, like 99% of the time, you're just eating high fructose corn syrup on your burger with yeah. a little bit sure. of tomato flavor. Sure. Yeah. Oh. And, 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 and some red yeah. six. You know what I mean? I like, mean, if, if, I'm at, if I'm at home, if I'm in the mood, I'm making it and canning it. It's been a couple years, but I'm also, or if I'm buying it, it's like I'm buying like the no high fructose. So one. you're like buying like some fancy ketchup, like it's you, a fan- you're it's not, a you're, bougie not you're not a Hunter Heinz guy, like <laughs> guy. <Well>, the, Sorry. <laughs> uh, so the 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 Walmart folks they make they have their their house brand and it there's an option that doesn't that's sweetened Ooh. with honey and there's really? no high fructose corn syrup. Yeah, is it? It's it's, 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 it's like it's their organic. Brand. It's like is a dollar more. Brand? Yeah, it's their brand. I, they, oh. I mean, that's something to give a shot. So they sweeten it with honey. Instead yep. of the high fructose exactly. corn syrup, does it change the flavor yep. drastically? I I don't or think so, but I'm also not like... one of those people that has like a preference between you know Del Monte Heinz and Hunts. It's high. I know only, some people thank do. You very much. <laughs> well, of course, it's high <laughs> only. There we go. Um, I'm from Pittsburgh, here, so that's why it's high only. <laughs> I, I got it. <laughs> I was just taught, like as a child, that it was made to cover up the flavor of rotten meat. Yeah, rotten meat. So I just. I'd steered away from it the rest of my life. <laughs> you said, uh, you said do, do you do mayo and mustard? Yes, I yes, I'm a condiment like fiend. 
Right. I'm a condiment whore. Yeah. Yeah, we, love, we love condiments, dressings, and sauces, and or the like. Do we want to go down Dressing. No, we don't. I, I want to talk about this. <laughs> want, wait, do we ask her opinion? I want to talk about this Arkansas five-pound burger. You're allowed, and then we're going to ask her the opinion on That's fine, but I feel Where like Where is this it? One... Is it the, the one that's the size of the hubcap? I might have tried to eat it. It literally says it is the <laughs> Let's go. Arkansas five-pound burger at Ed Walker's yep. Drive-In in Fort Smith. I don't know if that's nope. where you went. This one it is, wasn't in... Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Well, no, it's a legitimate <laughs> five-pound burger. Again, kind of yep. usual combination of uh, simple burger patty served with just lettuce, onion, pickle, and mustard. That's it, but it's literally served like a pizza, and they cut it in quarters. Like, they... I mean, it's I, wedges. I've had one in the best... The best huge burger I've had, honestly, is from Top Golf. If you could finish it in less than 45 really? minutes, it's free. Top Golf had like this huge burger, like it was like Burger for the Bay or some crap like that, and it was honestly cooked perfectly, mid rare, not meat loafy. Like it, huh. it, it was, it was a good burger, and you cut it like a pizza. You ate a wedge. But, I can't so, remember the. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. Well, you, go ahead. <laughs> I can't remember the name of the place, but I was in a, a city called Mountain Home, Arkansas, in two thousand and either it's 14 or 15 and we did a burger challenge and it was literally the size of a hubcap. So every quarter they cut out of this thing looked like a full size muffaletta. It was uh. stupid. It was huge. And it was like one of those, you get a t-shirt if you finish it, uh, we couldn't do it. So how many people? <laughs> it was just two people. Oh, so you, you and you and your buddy are like, we're going to take this down. We, we put a hurt on it, but we couldn't do it. I Dooley, was like, I Dooley want that T-shirt, tra- motherfucker. Dooley and I tried to do a pizza and just got annihilated because my jaw just wouldn't work anymore from the chewing oh, of, no. of all the crust. It's <laughs> like I'm not full. This is like my jaw hurts. All right. It's just so no, no, much. It's Sauces, also, dressings, and condiments? Yes. Also, they when we did it, they were like, oh, you're going to do the challenge? Here's yeah. about two pounds of sauce. Two pounds oh, yeah. of this. It was, it like, was huge. Totally. Totally. <clears throat> Yep. It came, it came up to like fucking fifteen pounds. It was more like crazy. seven, but uh, still, I felt like it was fifteen. I, I, was, I, I was there. I'd give I it. I felt like it was fifteen. I'd give it ten pounds, and we still wouldn't have finished it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so dressing sauces and condiments. What, what do you think the definition? What is the difference between a condiment and a sauce? If you listen to the previous podcast, we have talked about this before. <laughs> We have yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to think back. Mm. Like you, you, but you, you, your opinion, and like, when does a sauce become a condiment, and when does a condiment or a sauce become a dressing? I think it's a dressing when you use it to dress something. Like it's about, toss. It's about three dollars, by the way. <laughs> three three dollars. Yeah. The difference is about tree. It's about, about tree fifty. Tree fifty. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, what were you saying? I just couldn't hold that one in anymore. I think it's right. <laughs> I think the, well, that's the difference between a mayonnaise and aioli, right? It's right. Like three dollars. That's the best um, rebranding of anything I've ever heard of. Like mayonnaise, right. aioli. That's five dollars. I mean, we could, we could go, we could have a whole thirty minutes on like a, what a real aioli is. Well, but, you talk to, um, you talk to yourself for an hour about steak, which is amazing. <laughs> no, I talk to the listeners. They're going to subscribe, and there's going to be tons of downloads. Right. All right. No, I was literally just talking to my computer, like, and then this is a bavette. I was like, Jesus Christ, this is so boring. Who the fuck is anyway? All right, so who's going to listen to this? But anyway, uh, you'd be so, surprised. But continue. Right. So dressing. I think it's a dressing when you dress something with it. I don't know. Is that weird? Like when you're going to toss a salad. See, well, that's the easy part. That's, <laughs> that was too easy. That's, that's a fair. Leave it alone, Dennis. That's a, that's a <laughs> fair explanation. <laughs> I feel like that's a fair explanation of a dressing. Now, the harder part gets between what is a sauce and what is a condiment. Because like maybe dressing, we say a sauce is for dipping and a condiment is for dabbing. I have no idea. See, like, I, do they both come in ramekins? Like, I feel like. Is a sauce only eh. a sauce because it's on something? Just so is a condiment, condiment only what comes on the side? Because like huh. a dressing, right. I get it. You dress the salad, so you're going to put blue cheese on. Okay. You know, like, a sauce like Dennis. is incorporated into the thing, as in spaghetti with marinara sauce. Or is right. it top? So what? Well, yeah, that, what if you put marinara on top? Is it no longer a sauce? Is gravy, is it a, condiment? A, is gravy a sauce, condiment? Or a dressing? a dressing. I think it. it Most I think it's a sauce. <laughs> gravy, like brown gravy on your mashed potatoes. I think that's a sauce. Yeah, I'm with I her. think it's a mashed sauce. Mashed potatoes are, co- are condiment in a sense because you know you're mashed potatoes. To are be fair, this could be a dressing. 
because mashed potatoes are vegetables, so that's a salad. So Starch. you're dressing Ooh. the salad. <laughs> oh, this is like the whole sandwich. <laughs> they're not vegetables. They're tubers. They're starches. I love her face like, no, no, we're not going with that. No, no that is not a vegetable. <laughs> uh, it's it's going to fall. Like, if you, if you look at the... The pyramid, the food pyramid. I'm pretty sure there is a potato in the vegetable yeah. line. I well, yeah, but for wrong. Sure. don't forget yeah. they are full, and I mean full of gluten. So technically, so if you make, <laughs> if you make a baked potato, oh, you went to the gluten. I thing. went to the gluten <laughs> thing. Oh, good God! We so, had, we had a lady freak the fuck out because it was like I don't eat gluten. What can I have? And we were like fries, and she was like, yeah, we got, I can't like, eat we got, anything off of your truck because you said I could have fries. They have gluten. Like, why? Yeah, we, we all looked at her like, and like, the producer turns around and looks at us and's like, "I'm right. not crazy, right?" Like, no, she said stupid. Like, w- we're at a we're at a school, and this is a teacher. <laughs> and she turns and looks at us. She's like, "I'm not dumb, right? There is no gluten in a potato." I was like, "No, that is that is starch." And like, then I started to question myself. Like, shit, maybe I should Google that. But like, she seemed it's a gluten. She, like this she lady seemed, was so angry. Like she was appalled. Out of this world. So I, I <laughs> for a while, I worked for a major Italian chain, and we had an award-winning winning so allergy program where a chef had to go. You don't say all of them, huh? are you? She no, said it's a not major all Italian chain. Leave it at that. Uh, Stop but crying it's not into her garden. personal life. But I, but I promise it's not Olive Garden. But we had an award-winning allergy it's program McDonald's. where a chef had to go. No, <laughs> Italian, bro. McDonald's. Do you even <laughs> Italian, bro? No. So we had to go to every single table where there was an allergy. So there was this, like six top one night. It's in the airport, and um, I go out to the table. I'm like, hi, my name is blah 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 blah. I hear somebody has a gluten allergy, and she's like, yeah. And so we offered a popper deli that was gluten free, and and some other thing that was gluten free, and then all of our sauces were naturally gluten free because we used cornstarch. And um, we didn't have like a certified gluten free kitchen, but it was but it was pretty dang safe, you know. Like if you weren't gonna die, if you just had a sensitivity or whatever, you it, you were safe. And so later on, I'm taking. We even had gluten free bread table bread, so I'm taking the order back to the kitchen and I'm signing off on it. It was like a big deal, just a bunch of protocol. And the cooks are like herd chef, and I'm like okay. And I go back out there a few minutes later to ask him how everything is, and they have the gluten free bread with the marinara, and this this chick's drinking a beer, and I'm like, yep, hey, yep. ma'am. <laughs> uh, that used to She's happen like, at oh, certain places. Well, Most of y'all it'll be, <laughs> it'll be cool. I'm just cutting down. I was like, cool. You're ruining actual allergies for everybody else, right? Yeah. <laughs> have you ever? Have you had? Have you had like the card? And when I say the card, I don't yes. mean like the. I don't mean like the. Here's the like six. I mean like the. Here's my card that you can fold out into like a full page menu of. <laughs> Like allergies. things I cannot have. That is one of the only instances where well, I was like someone they brought their own food and they were like, "Here's I've my had allergy few... card," and I was like, "Okay, like that. Oh, I will microwave this for you." Right. I've had a few severe allergies come through. I, I used to work at our main airport here, and I've had a few severe allergies come through where they had a, a card they wore around their neck, but it was the things that they could eat. Okay. That's how like allergic how they many were things to they... everything. That is. Yes. I... See, at that point, like, I get it. Bring your own food. I know it's not legal. <laughs> You're not allowed to bring food into this restaurant that we don't serve. Well, I can't eat anything. I totally. That you have. I would let like, them. Do you guys I, know? Do you guys know what an alpha gal allergy is? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, let's just say that one of our family members, uh, you know, had quote unquote alpha gal. And oh then, no! And then maybe a month or two ago, asked us if we could sell them some of our burgers from the <gasps> truck. So clearly they, they were, they were great, greatly affected by alpha gal. Uh, yeah. Uh, but well, yeah. Well, on the subject like of French fries and made up. Oh, go ahead. Well, I Damn, think it became, Damn, it became catchy, fuck. you know, mm-hmm. at some point it became like a buzzworthy. I, first thing. off, I don't have enough money to have your designer allergy. Like, <laughs> because that's what they are. Like, you know, you, and it's like I can't eat bread. Like I watched you crush a sub like two weeks ago. Like I, I, I have family and friends with legit allergies. Like EpiPen, they will die. Oh, and Dennis. all the other yeah, people that Dennis, lie about hey, it because they're like a four year old that hates onions and they say I'm allergic to allium. Yeah. That could ruin it for everybody else. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah Den- Dennis is our local EpiPen guy. Yeah, know? we have an EpiPen yeah. in my yeah. in my kitchen at my house. We make like, sure. Yep. 
Do we make sure there's no I mushrooms, had, no blue cheese, you know? Well, we try to, but sometimes the producer tries to kill him with uh, <laughs> buffalo chicken dip, chicken dip with yeah. blue cheese in it. because that's I, Is that a specific right. blue cheese I, allergy, or is that I'm, penicillin? I'm allergic to molds and everything, yeah. That's, oh, okay. Okay. that's why Got everybody's it. like, well, why don't you go to doctors for this? I'm like, well, because they're going to give me a cillin and it's just going to kill me. So, what the fuck? I point? actually had some. Sometimes you got to roll the dice, Dennis. <laughs> Dude, I already <laughs> said for my, for my final meal, I want Gordon Ramsay's fucking beef wellington. It is good. It just, is good. The mashed want, potatoes suck, but the beef wellington's good. You want the duck salad, and Alex went on the air and said, Gordon Ramsay's mashed potatoes suck. Yes. Yeah, Gordon Ramsay's mashed potatoes <laughs> suck. But. Is it. But the so beef is it your what? is it like For, one two three and then it's your last meal and then you die or is it like last meal? With three he meals? might get like seven minutes. <laughs> I might get about a couple minutes. Well, yeah, yeah. We, have a, we have an EpiPen. We'll buy him about fifteen minutes for the ambulance. Thirty. Right? See, it's thirty uh, minutes. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes for the family what, in the hospital. Uh, but so thirty minutes. He's fine, dude. The hospital's fifteen minutes away. You've got an extra fifteen minutes. Let's go eat some blue cheese right now. <laughs> We're talking. <laughs> you, 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 you realize that potatoes. The EpiPen costs seven hundred fifty dollars, right? You just trust yeah. me. You're just gonna have to talk over them. They'll get there eventually. Yes. No, it's I totally fine. Like I said earlier about how people. I'm too polite. Say basically, <laughs> you know, oh, they they say they're allergic to something, but they're not. Yeah, onions. I had someone said they're allergic to salt. <laughs> we, they realize it's a you need it to live. It's like the, a building. The, the, I'll have a salmon instead of the tilapia water. because I'm allergic to fish. We had a weird one the other day. It was like lettuce <laughs> or some Jason, shit. Jason, Jason, I'm Jason. allergic to water. It's the oh. tilapia, okay? The tilapia I'm allergic to, but I'll have the salmon. <laughs> like she said, oh, I cannot have any salt on anything because I'm allergic to it. I was like... Oh, are the people that are allergic to tomatoes? Like tomatoes, but they want ketchup? Oh yeah! How, oh, how, yeah. How, again, how much tomato? Tomatoes. How much tomato is in ketchup? Uh, well, like, it's I'm, like 60, sixty-four yeah. percent solids in Heinz, I think. It's, Ooh, it's <laughs> solids. They don't clarify what the she, solids are. I will I mean, admit, she broke it down by brand paste. too. Bro, like, it's like tomato paste. Yep. That they add liquid to, so that's like vinegar, a million fucking tomatoes. Of one vinegar and sugar. Yeah. Like when, when the person told me that they're allergic to salt, I was like. But Are you on a low salt diet? Allergic, They're like, well, that's what my doctor said. I don't and I was believe like, you can be allergic to salt. No, right? you would die. Yes, there is nothing on earth that doesn't have salt. Yeah, Electrolytes. Sodium. Yeah, you have to have it. To hydrate live. or die. Um, <laughs> okay, okay. He's, he, he told me to hydrate. Okay. No, so like, like well, that I mean, is close to water. When you run into <laughs> when you run into people, Melissa, who are like the onions. Like I'm allergic to onions. Is do you think is there an actual onion allergy? In the world, there is. There's an actual allium allergy, so it's everything that's in that family, right? Garlic, shallots, onion, um, green onion, green onion, onion ramp, ramps, wow, leeks, just, all that stuff. You just spend but, a flavorless life. That's sad. Yeah, but yeah, and it's also alliums are super inflammatory. They're high in FODMAPs, like the f- food sugars that. It's like if you, for example, if you eat too much broccoli or cauliflower and it makes you fart, that's like an example of a FODMAP. It's this uh, certain enzyme that some people can't break down. <laughs> um, and so, <laughs> oh, what happened? Nasty motherfucker. No, Dooley did the fart mouth. He did the noise of his mouth. Oh. <laughs> but, but anyhow, Our producers like, just worry there's going to be a smell. That's yeah. All. Is, that gonna, is that broccoli or cauliflower? That's right. Oh, enclosed door. space. Yeah. It's, it's um, and we have the heat on. It's asparagus. Oh but yes, so I've met people that could, you know, could die from allium, and it's it's hard. You know, it's like, damn, I can't I'm, even put chives on something to make it look I mean, pretty. We had uh, one. Uh, uh, okay, all right, so that would be kind of fucked up. Somebody said that they're they don't want onion, <laughs> but like everything we use has onion. So yes. just because, uh, so they would have to specify so. that they have an allergy. <laughs> Like an yeah, so I so I always ask and if it's an allergy. Can't have anything on our menu. Or an right. intolerance. Yeah, or an aversion. Yeah, right. Exactly. Are I you just a, are you a grown well, five year old that well, hates well, everything green? Ninety percent of the time, it's a grown five year old. Yeah, I ask them mm-hmm. all the time. Like, because a place that y'all used to work at, you used to have, they actually had one like she great. I love her to death. She's one of my best friends in the world. But at the same time, all of a sudden she did said she's allergic to gluten. Yeah, because he gave her upset stomach. It made her poop, is what she yeah. said. I mean, I you can her. develop and grow in and out of intolerances and sensitivities, yeah. but uh, then again, you know. we also have but our friend Austin, beer. 
who doesn't give a shit about yeah, his yeah, <laughs> his lactose intolerance. He's like, guess what? I'm still eating cheese. <laughs> I'm like, eating cheese and go on this he roller chugged coaster. Mi- he chugged like, milk. Yeah, he, he chugged milk. After he ate the Buffalo Wild Wing Challenge, he chugged milk and was like, shit. If you had Dude. to, if you had to have an allergy, which one do you think you would choose? I'm going peanut. <sighs> You know what? It might kill me, but how often do you really come across peanuts? I mean, I, I love a Reese's cup, though. I love peanuts. Take Don't get me. Snickers, Baby if you Roots, had to my have an shit. Allergy. All right, so if I have to have an allergy, I'll just take the one that I have. How many times do I eat a payday trees. on the truck? Yeah, that's a good one. Pine, pine nuts? Really? No, not pine nuts. Pine trees. Like, it's not... I'm, yeah. My mom's allergic so I'm talking about food. Well, you said Are we allergy. choosing allergies, you well, said? We're, yeah. We're talking like, about if food allergies. you had allergies, to have an allergy... Which one would you choose? I think I, I'm... I love peanuts, but I think I'd have to choose the peanut allergy because it would not Take affect my five? actual talking meals. Food allergies, you're, you're talking, talking allergy about desserts in general. Well, Take, yeah, food t- allergies. T- well, we're five. talking about food. Why would like, allergy? who's choosing and, ragweed? Well, you can't. Yeah, you can't pick pine. Like, yeah, you like you pine pine allergy. Again, pine nuts would be your only. Dude, you're not I'm, allergic to pine nuts. I'm pretty sure I'm not allergic to anything anymore. What the I just, I just, I'm, I just I don't, man up. I don't think. Just don't like the smell of fucking fig. Or whatever, cedar or wood or whatever. Pine? I don't like pine. <laughs> you don't you don't like pine nuts? You're allergic to pine, but you don't like the smell of cedar. So you cry oak, when you chop onions. Maybe some white oak, you know, the, all of so that is horrible. Technically, evidently, I'm allergic to onions. Yeah, you cry. Because I cry every onions. time I cut onions. That's and not I, an onion allergy. That's sulfuric acid. That, that's ox- oxalic acid. The onions release look, that when you cut into the It's my allergy. Memory. It'll be what <laughs> I say it, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Because it doesn't affect it's his party. He'll cry if he wants to. I think it just so hits him. It just hits him hard in the heart. Really? Really? Do you have any idea the tons of onions I have cut in my life? And if I cut one onion, I will still cry. Seven. <laughs> Seven. I'm allergic to onion pain. That's all. Just yeah. pain. It is. It, pain I, am, and I, am, I am sensitive. I'm sensitive. To onion onion, onion, onion commercial. sensitive. I'm is being what I'm serious though. It. I'm still I'm still on peanuts. Like I feel like that is the right. least intrusive allergy. It may kill you if you I have would, a peanut. But I feel like it's the I least would probably, intrusive. I would choose um, sugar or alcohol since they're the root of many, many problems. If I were allergic <laughs> to either one of those, I think it'd be a lot better. You're talking I'm, about I'm, bettering your I'm, life. No, I'm just no, talking no, about no, not no, no, just no, hating no, mine. Because then yeah. your sweet and savory life is over. Oh! oh I know, me. right? But yeah, but that wouldn't, it, it wouldn't include like natural. Okay. okay, so we say like corn syrup. Oh, <laughs> so you're narrowing. I could down still like, throw down on like a butternut squash or a you know a boniato or something like that. Nobody <laughs> wants to eat butternut squash. What are you talking about? Shut up. Do you want to eat butternut? Okay, squash? I love so butternut true squash. Butternut squash. true story. In the fridge right now, I just tried out a new flourless chocolate tort recipe. It's for tonight, and it's literally a one and a half pounds of steamed butternut squash in the robo. Like, drain it, let it steam off, cool it a little bit. Put it in the RoboCube with 400 grams of chocolate. Do or, you have a RoboCube you know. at your house? Well, you know, it's a food processor. Okay. I, just well, call I was going to was gonna give you baller <laughs> status. Like, shit, okay, yeah. I did. I After a restaurant closed, though, I did claim one. Uh, yeah. took it home. Yeah. I used it until it died. I, uh, so, acquired. Yeah. <laughs> I like how she said acquired. Claimed. I claim. Uh, <laughs> like, well, it's I, like, I, yeah, I, I don't have it. She over. just like put you a took... sticker on it. Like this <laughs> one's mine. Yeah, like because we're, we're like, like you know flags would be a little crazy. We're just gonna put a sticker on it. <laughs> like <laughs> just, just, you guys, just you guys were going out of there. business, and you and you took my job. So I'm putting a timestamp on this RoboCoop, and it's mine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you still owe yeah, me back there. Those are the only those are the only two ingredients in like four tablespoons of butter, and you puree it, and then you chill it overnight and it turned into it's more mousse than cake but yeah i love butternut squash don't hate I, it's I'm, good i feel like if you you are eating butternut squash <laughs> the, the, you might as well have been eating what, what? nothing don't don't oh, just, come on come on yeah what's going on it's you're, too you're late now camera the fuck is happening? I'm just missing <laughs> shit. That's all. Like I was, I was gonna continue on my own way. I'll be back in like three minutes. Anyway, all I was. Saying, Where are you going? You want to poop? No. You want to get a pizza? Can I send you to get a pizza? Anyway, <laughs> going to the car. like if you like butternut Domino's squash once it's roasted it? is not very far off from a it's sweet like potato, yeah. which is no, easier to like... use <laughs> and will derive the same flavor. I don't know. I got a recipe for a, a roasted uh, butternut okay. squash with honey and thyme, and I just love the fuck out of it. So, but I feel like one of my go ahead. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. Like, is... <laughs> one of, one of my earliest food memories is I I used to watch 
um, Emerald, you know, okay. when went way back on the Food Network. When it was just more. It was like, yeah, kicking the, it up the and, stand, and all the that. The stand and cook shows. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And it, um, he one time we saw him roast a butternut squash. He just really simple, like cut it down the middle, scoop the seeds out, place it face down, pricked it with a fork and roasted it. And at the end, I shit you not, he cut a little trench in the middle of each half and he shoved an entire Snickers bar into each side. And I was like, that's it. That's what I want to do with my life. I'll, like, I'll, I want to try that. Yeah, that's I, I want to like, try that. that I was is like, like, like candy wanna... with a vegetable. Like, I want to do this. Yeah. <laughs> Leave it to Emerald. Um, again, all right, so that's a good segue. Well, well, that's what, how you figured out you wanted to become a chef? Well, I grew up um, cooking with my grandma, and so it was from, like, a really young age, and she would just give me stuff to peel to shut me up and to keep me, like, I was basically at her hip the entire time. Right. We used to put up, you know, like your pears. Dogs, and- like your dogs while you're trying to do a podcast. Dude, seriously, I, I've had I've had Sorry. two greyhound heads in my lap for almost two hours now. They're just they're very distraught. They don't are, understand why are I'm not you moving. Start, are you starting to sweat? <laughs> <laughs> they're just keeping me toasty. It's kind of chilly today, so it's fine. But um, they're my buddies. But yeah, like I I would I'd sit in her lap and peel beets for canning beets, and we would do all we would make collard greens together and everything else. And I just admired. I saw the way she took care of people. And that's what I wanted to do. But then I figured out you could get paid for it. And that's what really started it. And so I started watching Bobby Flay on Lifetime before the Food Network was even a thing. Mm -hmm. And it was just him and Martha Stewart. And then I went on a school trip to Boston when I was 13. And I saved up all year and researched this place called Number 9 Park. The chef there, Barbara Lynch, she didn't graduate high school. She went back and got her GED later on. She started as a busser. She worked her way all the way up to... I mean, I think she's doing like 13, 14 mil a year. She has like six different restaurants up there. But we had the tasting menu. It was the most expensive meal that my my family had ever bought. We were on a, a school trip. My mom came along as a chaperone. She signed the menu. She brought truffles out. There was no like shit. a cheese cart and a gelato cart. And it was like seven course tasting. And from that moment on, I was like, first of all, I didn't know women could do this professionally. And secondly, I didn't know you could make this much money. And like, this is what I want to do. And it's the only thing I've ever done. It's the only thing I've ever done. So it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's like a really, <laughs> it's a fun, it's a fuzz, a warm and fuzzy story. <laughs> so, well, this is, this yeah. is me and Dooley giving you air nugs because <laughs> I know where Dooley started, but I don't know why he started down this road. So Dooley, what made you become a chef <laughs> outside of just trying to get out of the dish pit? <laughs> and I like to eat a lot, obviously too. Ooh. I freaking love to eat. <laughs> you do, I that's like we travel yeah. and like we focus on where are we going because where where are we going to eat? Yeah, it's not where what I'm going to see. It's when are we going to eat? Yes, and exactly. you got you got to try to figure out like how can I squeeze all this food into myself <laughs> in, in a very short amount of time? You just got to remember it's a marathon, not a sprint. You just gotta <laughs> yeah, you gotta true. get it. You gotta uh, Jason says that enough whenever we go on uh, golf tournaments. <laughs> remember when you're drinking, this is a marathon. <laughs> So, <laughs> uh, I'd say it was mostly started at Fins. Like, uh, sounds like my. So, like, so okay. So when we refer to Fins, it's Finn McCool's. It's a restaurant yeah. that was. was. It was on Kitchen uh, Nightmares. No, no, uh, not, no, not no, this not particular. That one. Not, not, that one, not, no. not that one. No, <laughs> not, that's not that, one. that. That one's in New Jersey. Okay, okay, okay. Probably yeah. was it the same thing. What? No, uh, it's, it's, it's our tavern. Yeah. Reg- they're regional. Same concept. I, I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure that that was a franchise. It, okay. They had a, what, like what, coked what, out looking. Uh, anyway, cooking everything bright. when we refer to Finn's, it is Finn McCool's, not the one on Kitchen <laughs> Nightmares. Yeah. No. Sure. <laughs> I just recognize the name. Yeah. I'll, I'll take it. I'll, I'll take it. It's back. very the, very much the same concept. I'll take a sure. step back. Uh, when I was in high school, um, I very wanted to be a video game. Uh, programmer like do sure. code do all that type of stuff like that and then I realized uh, the longer I sit in a seat trying to fucking keep on doing the same code over and over again the more Ooh. I'm frustrated and I just want to fucking go to sleep so <laughs> so sitting in a chair for 9 to 5 is not mm-hmm. something I wanted to do so I started working at a, an Outback Steakhouse I was a bus boy turned dishwasher and then slowly what? Real fast though, but then the the higher up you get, like on the list of chefs, the more you sit in a seat. 
<laughs> from nine to yeah, five. Right. I need you Indeed. to rewrite this entire menu. I need you to cough it out. Like this is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> so like yeah, I was, I started working uh, busboy dishwasher at uh, an Outback Steakhouse and everything. Yeah. And I slowly started doing more like prep cook type of work and stuff like that. And Outback has their whole like you know they make everything fresh type of stuff like that. So I, yep. Hey, when I was working there, it was we actually did some shit. We actually yeah. made fries. We actually yeah, did all of that. They, they cut their own fries. They cut their own blooming onions. Like, they, own, they, they, Dooley, yeah. Dooley yeah. totally made the blooming onions. He just never dropped them. No. I mean, I, I'm <laughs> not putting the fucking shots fired on there because I, I never touched the blooming onion, motherfucker. I worked at I worked at Sonic for it. like eight no, months. <laughs> <laughs> and it was one of the cleanest places I ever. I mean, everybody starts somewhere, you that? know. Like, but, so you uh, did you did Outback for eight months? Sonic. No, I did Sonic. Oh, Sonic. Sonic. I used to work at Sonic too. Yeah. Worked there for a year and a half. I um, I you won't be able to Sonic. see real, real well, but I I missing part of the finger. That's why they're cr- oh. they're kind of crooked. Well, oh. And uh, it was I'm like a it was screen. like a, a celery incident. But I I had to pay off the the stitches. It was like a hundred bucks a stitch. It was like fourteen stitches, and so. I got a second job at Sonic, and I'm like, everybody always goes like, oh, I started at this place. Yeah, it takes all kinds. You have that to start changes somewhere. my whole question. That's how you learn. Because I was about to ask, were you high when you cut yourself? Like, why else I was would you not, pay for your own stitches? I, I thought you were working just, at Sonic when you cut yourself. Now it makes sense. No, you, got, you got the job no. at Sonic because no, so I, you cut Yeah, yourself. I had a job as an AM Sue at a steakhouse, and I, I it was like an AM Junior Sue. It was like my first real you know, big gig, I guess. And I was just going too fast and the celery was wet and I slipped and the rest is history. But why did you have to pay for it and not workman's comp? (laughs) Because they, they didn't carry workman's comp. Oh, wow. (laughs) And I wasn't, yeah. And I wasn't old enough to know any better. So, (laughs) so yeah. Well, kudos to you for like, it's like a hundred dollars a stitch. Did you continue to work there? What is it? Did Did you continue to work there? Yeah, I did continue to work there. So you paid for your own stitches, went back, like, all right, well, I mean, I got to pay for them somehow. Got yeah. this. Still drawing the need check? This, need this paycheck, yeah. I mean, shit, look, I'll can, be back yeah. tomorrow, can right? You cover you brunch? My, can you spot? cover brunch on Sunday? No, I'm working at Sonic. Why? I'm working at Sonic, Because bitch. I got fucking stitches, bitch. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> so I, 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 so we were we were heading into the weekend, and I had tried the whole keep it dry duct tape, or, or keep it dry, like super glue duct tape thing. And we had uh, basement storage. This was in downtown Austin. We had basement storage. It was like a walk-in freezer, a walk-in cooler down there, and a little dry store. And I was coming up the stairs with two salmon. So I was like holding them by the tail. But this thing had come open, and it was like ble- I was like bleeding down uh, my arm. And, the, and one of the sous chefs was like, yeah, you, you got to fucking go. I was like, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> like, your, your whites aren't so white anymore? Yeah, for real. Shit, <laughs> it's like that one time when Dooley busted my head open on a refrigerator. Well, guess no. I guess I definitely busted my own head open. Yeah, on a refrigerator. He tried to mm. slam Dooley while they were wrestling in our podcast room. Yeah. We'll call it, oh we'll my call goodness! It the <laughs> like the 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 late night UFC fights. But Dooley, please continue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off here. On your <laughs> segue from fucking Outback. <laughs> Blue and onions so, never drop two minutes. Go. Go. Ahead. So anyway, <laughs> pew pew. I can't let it like, can't let it go. I go work here at Fucking Cool's. Awesome. My uh, best friend, like yeah, you know, since kindergarten, was working there, and he brought me on. And uh, our good friend, uh, Big Dave, he's the kitchen manager at the time. And he's like, he was that fucking Outback. No, I'm talking oh, Fins. Fins. You, sorry. So I get to Fins, and then uh, at Fins Cool's, I start uh, culinary school at. CIV Culinary Institute of Virginia, and nice. then they I just plug start berating me with fucking questions <laughs> first fucking week. They probably don't appreciate it. Like, they don't, but hey, Big Dave is like, <laughs> he just asked me fucking all the fucking questions, and I'm like, dude, I've been there like four days. I, no, I don't... he's he is gonna be in your ass, like oh, Big yeah, Dave. Yeah. All right, like, so when we say Big Dave, what is he six four? He's six. How tall are you? I think six, he's probably six, six two. He's not. I don't, he's not quite Dennis. No, nah, I don't. I don't. He's probably six two. Six two. He's, he's a big dude. dude. He's, he's a big he's dude. He's Dennis. He's Dennis. I mean, height sure, like yeah. big Dave, like red hair. I think he red he, beard. I think he may have slimmed down yeah, a little shit. bit, but dude, he's a big ass dude. When when I was okay, so Melissa, when I first started, 
and then I started getting into like prep cook because yeah. I'm in uh, culinary school. They want me to start doing a little more stuff. Mm-hmm. Big Dave is he's about well, I'm six one. He's about okay. six three, and uh, at, at the time he was about a hundred pounds heavier than I was, and he is literally over my shoulder looking at me what I'm doing. And at the time I still remember I'm making uh, uh, bread pudding. And right. he's just watching me make it, and he's like, "What are you gonna do next?" And I'm like, "Why do we do this? <laughs> yeah, why, why, why are we doing this? Well, doing? Why are we doing this? What? It, what was the next thing on the I, I know you know what to do, but what, why are we doing it? How do you know the cut to make it the right size for the portion size? What about this? What about that? I'm like. I'm just following the recipe, man. <laughs> which, is the, which is the correct answer. Yeah. That is the correct answer. What are you doing? I'm following the recipe from the book. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that a, you created. That's a good like, topic. Melissa, and, have you ever come across any recipes? Oh, I'm gonna go ahead, Julie. Okay, and so and there, there's one time I was literally slicing uh, onions. Because, I mean, almost every single day we had to slice uh, red onions, white onions. And one time right. he, was, he was on my uh, left side... And I'm just slicing, just cutting with my right hand. And he's just looking at me like, how thick is that? I was like, the size you told About me About to like cut? this? Yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> like, you gotta like, it's, it's, it's as thick as my... And, uh, and yay, and then, yay and big. He's like, microns. <laughs> he's like... So you break out the rule. Like, <laughs> three is, centimeters. Is that a fourth of an inch? Is that... What, what, what's that? I'm like, I, I don't know. We don't <laughs> do me, centimeters. Don't <laughs> Millimeters. I'm like, is, is it a, is it a shipping? metric crap? Yeah, like like <laughs> like, are you Julianning or are you shipping? Not? I'm like, sorry, I'm you're correct. There, I'm like, this is America. Like, three washers. Yeah, I'm like, this is a, America. This is freedom fractions, guys. <laughs> I'm like, it's freedom, it's freedom, fraction. freedom fractions. <laughs> we measure by that, anything except the metric system. That right is here. three washers thick. <laughs> Same time, I got nine millimeter and eight ball in my home. But. <laughs> the, me, the whole thing about me getting into culinary, I don't know. I think it was just like the, what made you want. Like, was it just by accident? By accident, and or also like just the grind of getting in there and just like, like, you, but like you were already in the industry, but then you're just like, I think let's the, let's stay here because eventually someone's gonna tear me a new asshole. And just call me Damn It Dooley and ride me for the rest of my life <laughs> on dropping fries. <laughs> like like just, that was like not the go to plan. To be fair, he still <laughs> can't drop fries. He drops them all the time. After sometimes we tell him the second time. Sometimes they're on the floor. On the floor? Yeah. <laughs> sometimes I'm going to throw them in your fucking face. <laughs> like, I mean, you're standing up for yourself and that's perfectly fine. As long as you drop the fries while as you're standing. As long as you put the fries down and throw a frozen one at me, I'll take it. It's funny because sometimes... As long as the fries are down. Last time I was on the food truck, Alex looked at me before uh, I turned around. And I was like, oh, what? Alex looked at me. He's like, hey, they're not in the oil. They were in the basket. <laughs> He had put them in the basket. He turned around, put the bag of fries it on is, the table, it is the and did slow, not drop the fries. It is the slow steam, first cook, See, then you I'm fry to, them. I'm trying then to you fall. pull them out, and then you fry them again. I'm trying so to fall. We're on a three. We're on a three times cook here, Alex. I'm trying I to get steam them, <laughs> steep them with the the vapors coming <laughs> off of the fryer as they defrost slowly in the basket. As in, them in, they in go the cold, in. Okay, in the cold weather, you get that steam coming already from the fries that are already dropped. Dude. And then you tell me drop another basket, and I'm like, like it's steam from like, the fryer. Like, Dooley. Like, no, <laughs> that would, no bullshit. That would no require bullshit, you Melissa. to have had dropped fries. I did the first one already. So. You can't I'll say there's steam hey. coming from the fries. <laughs> if you have ever seen like a Michael Jackson video from the 80s, and like, oh yeah, like beat it. It's like the like, subway grate yeah. scene. Imagine yeah. that inside the truck, but it's like every station because it's cold as shit outside. And so, like, you got Philly meat and burgers on a flat top. You know, you got <laughs> you got you got French fries and like chicken in a fryer, and it's just like the whole thing looks like a Michael Jackson video. Like we're like what inside the oh. like dum, all dum, we dum, need. Dum, dum, we're dum, one dum, dum, cheese dum. grater away from making music videos. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks ago, you had like a meat tornado. Yeah, the meat where, tornado. Where like literally, like there was a tornado in front of him coming off the grill, just like cycling in the corner, 
And it was getting sucked up into the hood, but like literally it looked like a mini tornado coming off the meat in front of him. It was yes. pretty dope. <laughs> the mountain of meat tornado. That should have been, been a TikTok. Sometimes it's out of nowhere you just want to... Shimona. What were you trying to say? <laughs> Shimona. Shimona. Like you let Dooley finish, Alex. <laughs> yeah, no, see, I let Dooley finish. <laughs> oh, oh, I was done. I, I like how he expected I'm me. in and about I the I would have interjected by now. Oh, yeah, because you, you were like, you let him finish, but it was like another side topic. But anyway, what made you jump into the culinary field, Mr. I like computers? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I do like computers. I couldn't cook for shit before I was 18, uh, actually, until I was 18. I learned how to do everything else in life. You know, laundry, all the other bullshit that you need to take care of, for, of yourself. But for some reason, I was on microwave meals and cereal. Uh, and mm. that, like, Come back and see me after a Hot Pocket. Fucking Hungry Man, Hot Pocket, yeah, it didn't matter. Fucking uh, dinner, lunch, everything. Like I, I was either order out or like microwave or cereal. And when I was 19, I got a job in a restaurant. And I, that was it. I don't know. I just like I learned how to cook, and I was hooked. And <coughs> I just I, since then, just I worked my way up. Like I started in a pantry and and continued, and that was it. I mean, I, I got like, my ass kicked in pantry. I should say for like a year and a half. I feel like my metaphor pantry is, good is not for... pantry is a horrible place for people to start. I mean, because dude, my... it's the start <laughs> and the finish of every fucking meal. You don't get railed. <laughs> you don't get railed once. You get railed twice. I didn't have to. I, <laughs> pantry at this place was salads and then setups. So I did have to like toast burger buns. I had the oven. So like nachos, which was more of a late night. Wow. Thing. But like nachos was me. I had the salad station, and then I was burger like burger prep. And when I say burger prep again, it was mostly buns. There was a lot of seafood. I didn't have shit to do with. But I was bun prep, nachos, and salads. And so this you place had a lot of other people work in a kitchen. No, oh. no, no. Oh, shots I... fired. <laughs> no, that's not shots fired. I'm and, just and I did it like, anyway because no, I was I about to say. You, so you're doing what you do, like you're saying. It's like I'm toasting buns. Yeah. You're like you're not cooking them. You're not cooking the shit. I will like, admit. Your, yeah. Like, no, I was not cooking shit. No, uh, I will so, admit, like, and salad station sounds easy. No, that shit sucks. That, you said it, there was like a thirteen item. I was about salad. to say there was something called the to die for salad. No, no, no. You said and it sucks. I it, do know that. And like, it was popular as fuck. It was just one of those things. Literally had thirteen <laughs> items, and you had to like dragon. They called it dragoning the strawberry. So you cut it twice and basically made it pop open. Uh, and I like it went on top huh. of this mound of salad that had everything from chicken tenders dipped in tricolor. Uh, tortillas. tortillas. Wow. So like I, they like we cooked our own tortillas, tricolor tortillas, then ground them and then dipped it. Like I mean, like they went through a process. But the salad sold like a motherfucker. And when you're on pantry and you have like two nachos, it doesn't matter how many nachos actually. Just like, if you have anything in the oven at all, fuck buns, nachos, whatever, Dude, have and you have PTSD like four of those salads, pile them on nachos. Like that is the only job I have ever fucking cried at. Oh, legitimately, I oh, I cry at them all. I don't even. I don't, <laughs> I don't have a problem in that. That was the only job where, like, the ticket went. Like, I had a full rail ticket. Tickets to the floor. Like, they were still coming in. And my, like, that. My boss at the time watched me walk off the line, light a cigarette, and he was like, "Are you good?" And I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> no. I'm, I'm good." We're like, I'm, do I look? Like, good? I just, I just need a minute. That was what I told him. Like, I just need a minute. No, like. He took me at my fucking word. He did not send a goddamn person to help me. <laughs> like, and, <laughs> Are you good? Yeah, I'm well, good. I'll be honest I'm with you. I'm just going to go smoke this cigarette. I'll be, back. I'll be back to make those 30 salads that in a is, minute. That is how I learned about restaurants. Like my, That was within the first four they months. Like I, I, I mastered my station. I like On any given night, I could handle my shit. It was a Friday night. They normally had two people. I was the only one on the station. We got fucking hit, and it was just... Just like, are you good? And I was like, yeah, I just need a minute. It's allergies. No, it's, fuck I, no. There was, there was a pine tree. I, I don't even know how much of the cigarette I got smoked. You know what I mean? Like, I just had to step off. The cigarette was just the excuse. And it, but again, like, they could have sent somebody over there. They could have. Fuck, fuck they these onions. Fuck they could have backed me up. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
Maybe, no. maybe somebody needs to check on the new guy. Like, no, no. You guys, they you were, guys know this They were just like, up. no, he's good. He said he's got it. Like, all right, yeah, fuck it. Like, ah. He's been here for four months. <laughs> <laughs> he knows everything. Uh, from that point on, though, I knew what to expect from restaurants. Like, uh, you know, all right? Like, yeah, they no one gives you. a fuck about you. I hate to say that. It doesn't matter your position. Like... Hey, no well, one. We'll cares. go drink some beers you, after work. Like, but oh, you gotta you, hold your shit down. Yeah, you, exactly. <laughs> you better, you better handle your shit. And you know what? If you say you got it, you you better fucking have it. Because I went back to my station and I fucking handled my shit. But he did not. Like, yeah, are you good? I'm good. Totally good. No, yeah. this is bullshit. I am fucking bullshit. All the meanwhile, hey, they're inside is... like that motherfucker's outside crying. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I don't. Like, I don't think they had time. <laughs> like, my my first job. Well, my first job was Garmo. Garmo. <laughs> Garmo. Garmo. J. My, my salads. My first job was also salads she's, at. You know, you know how she's only worked in classy places. She, she calls it Garmo. Garmo. No, no, that's not true. I um, work. But, my first job was in Garmo. <laughs> but Classy listen, bougie. They, so oh. they would call it the pantry. But when I was nineteen or eighteen, about to turn nineteen, the the ladies only made salad and dessert. Like that was it. Oh, so you, like, you, like, you were women kinda, getting hired on to saute, right. like you know. And so it was my first job. It was at Houston's or, or Hillstone, you know. And um, man, they had the two big wheels. For the tickets, like not just like oh, the straight like, across oh, rail. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. Like the Hooters I, wheel. Uh huh. Right. And we, so I hit. I got hit. It was my first Valentine's Day. I was still in culinary school, so I was going to culinary school from six thirty in the morning to two thirty in the afternoon, and then I would roll to work at three thirty to close, which was like twelve thirty or one in the morning. And I kept this up for for the entire time until I graduated. And it was crazy, but that first day was like right around Valentine's Day week. So they had this item on the menu that was called an O-Sal. Well, the O-Sal was like, it just stood for optional salad. So you could have it before your meal or you could have it with the meal. Like that was it. But it was just their basic side salad. You got a choice of dressing, shredded carrots, croutons, blah, blah, blah. Well, nobody bothered to tell the new guy, right, that they were running this promotion where that optional salad was no longer optional. It was included. So, oh shit! So both the wheels fill up, and the, the ticket printer is like printing down onto the floor, and I'm kind of choking back tears because I'm like, "Shit, I've really bitten off more than I could chew." Uh, I shouldn't have told him that I had the experience that I had, and I'm just dying. I'm just totally getting my ass kicked. And I remember that was we, just we call know, that Julian, but go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I just remember just that was like a, a month or two into my entire culinary career and I just went home and cried and just thought, Did I did I make a huge mistake? <laughs> like maybe I, I just, maybe I'm not cut out for this. Maybe maybe, maybe I should program computers. <laughs> this is I, I like the feeling we're on, because unless you want to continue, I have a good segue. Oh, yeah. I, oh I, I just didn't have another option. I didn't know how to do anything else. Oh. I still don't know how to do anything well, else. Again, that, that, that feeling right there is going to lead great <laughs> into this next one. Uh, what's the best chef prank you've ever either dealt with or oh. like mm. seen? So, I mean, like Servers get it with the like empty the you know I need you to empty all the, the hot water. Empty the hot water so it doesn't go stale. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, and like I've seen people stand there for like fifteen minutes and empty. I'm talking oh, yeah. quarts. That bag of, of fresh, hot that water. That bag of fresh air from the freezer. Bag of, bag of cold air. Cold. Bag air. of cold air from the freezer. Like, <laughs> what's what's the best chef prank you've ever had done? Mop the freezer. Or again, witnessed, been <laughs> part of anything. Out, man. Mop, mop the, the freezer. Mop in the yeah, freezer. I've, I have definitely fucked up a couple mops. <laughs> uh, definitely not because it was a prank. Because that shit. Because <laughs> that shit really needed to be mopped. <laughs> and like I'm doing it with like the hottest water, like from. Yeah. Like, you gotta. The, you gotta. What, from, when, from, no, from, because yeah. you tell the server like, yo, tell the new server that I need like all the hot water drained out of this thing. And here's three mop buckets. And when they're done with those three mop buckets, you can tell them it's a prank. But I'm going to need these mop buckets because I need to get this fucking floor. Clean. <laughs> <laughs> and Versatility. I, and I only have and I only have like three seconds per mop. Like <laughs> Versatility on I, Jason's part. <laughs> I, one of my favorites is a balsamic vinegar hides in a Dr. Pepper really well. Oh. Um, you just spike somebody's like shifty somebody's line drink oh. or or I did work in I worked in a kind of a down home place in 
in Kerrville, Texas, where we're making homemade chicken fried steak, and I would chicken fry a ticket every once in a while and feed it to a server. Oh. Um, no, I don't dis I don't dislike servers, but when I was young and stupid, I, I it was more it was a big like uh, us versus them, and then I've also given people like a crostini with whipped butter on it and told them it was the amuse bouche and it's just a, a mouthful of butter. <laughs> <laughs> The, You're gonna have to go back the, to the clam. Like what? The clam and the perps. Oh, uh, well, I was, I was, I was, I was just, talking about okay, pranks. Okay, okay, so pranks like kitchen pranks. Okay, so um, there was we, there was a lot of kitchen yeah. server. Pranks. So at 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 Fins, we'll call it. Uh, we were very close to a. I don't know if you know who Peter Chang is, as far as like the culinary world of Szechuan cooking in China. But, it sounds familiar. Yeah, so we had a Peter Chang's, like his first restaurant uh, on the Eastern Seaboard. It was real fast. We knew one of the servers because they came to Fence to drink. So they have the the numbing uh, berries that they put with like all their like Szechuan yeah. hot. Yeah. So it kind of numbs your tongue. So we talked to like one of their servers, and so we had a plethora of numbing berries. So, like, when you were talking about, like, Dr. Peppers, there was one individual that we would just shove him down a straw. And, like, <laughs> yeah, he's like, you know, you had the server drink area, and, like, everyone's got their shit labeled. So we would just drop, like, the numbing berries down a straw and let them dissolve. And, like, he's as he's drinking his said Dr. Pepper. But this asshole, he is, like, one of the best people in the world. He went tenfold. And, like, one of the bartenders, he took a clam, just a fresh clam, and dropped it in, <laughs> dropped it in her purse. And weeks, weeks later. <laughs> oh, maybe weeks has been worse. I mean, maybe days. Um, I, it's, it was a hot minute. Does like, it matter? And so, <laughs> At the point you so, find it. Uh, so this, this bartender, this bartender was at school. Uh, and she's like, damn, somebody's, somebody's vagina stanky Somebody. up in here. Like, cause in she, so she's traveling around and she's like in her car and she's like, oh my God, it's me. And, I, and then, so then she's like at home and she's like, she's got her purse with her all the time. And like, so she's like at her dining room table trying to do homework and she's like, oh my God. Like I might have to go to a doctor. She's like, and if you could ever see this server and see her or this bartender trying to sniff her own coochie to see if that is like the best joke ever. Like she's in, she like even described it to it. No, she showed us. She was like, I had my leg up on the chair. She's like, I'm trying to sniff oh my, my own. Gosh. She's like, I think it's me. And she's like. Then, like, she started digging through her purse because while she was down there, her head was near her purse, and she found just an opened dead clam. <laughs> and her, like, that is shell and all. Like, yeah, I, thought, like, I, thought, just, I, thought, I thought when you said he opened it, I'm like, no, all right, I no, shucked no, it in no, there. You no, know what no, I mean? Like, no, he took a clam from the ice from and the put it bar. in her purse <laughs> and let her carry that bad boy around. Until it's That's so gross. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> so bad. It is so bad. Uh, 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 you know what? I'm pretty she sure got, it was a coach purse, back. too. She got him back. She put. <laughs> Corned beef juice in his Dr. Pepper. Oh, that's how she thought she got him back? I mean, yeah, out of the two, I gotta give it to him. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah. He, well, that, he crossed the line, I feel like. He went into <laughs> fucked up territory. Yeah. Like, like was, but, was but it was good. Yeah, Matt Rowe. I'll say it. Matt oh, Rowe. Matt Rowe did what I figured it was, and I'm pretty sure I know exactly which bar that yeah, was. Well, then like, you know Matt what? Rowe, like, that is, like, his badge of honor. He's like, he would tattoo that shit. Like, one clam and O. Oh. Like, one and O. Oh. Clams. <laughs> if it's who I think it is, I would have done it, too. Dude, yeah, it was definitely the I one I would have done think. it, too. Dude, and it, like... And I feel like it was That was, like, the greatest recently. place to ever work. It was. It was, like, I the greatest was place to ever work because there were so many too. people what? who were so... I would have done the Matt Row. I would have yeah, fucking done it, too. It, they, they, <laughs> they all think they knew who the bartender was, and I'm pretty sure they're all right. And yeah. She... <laughs> She just had a birthday she recently. Was, she was she was kind of a bitch, but she was fun to work with. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like she was she was a life she of the Christmas party. Just one in every location. Right, I think. though. 
Oh. Hey, she was the life she's of the like Christmas your, party. You're yes. angry because she's a bitch, but she's generally right. Yes. Like, you were like, so you're like mad Son that she was right. Bitch. Oh, I, I've got a video of like, her fucking like, drunk as shit saying on New Year's Eve. And it was just... It like, was just, you can't really argue, and you're like, son of a bitch. That's why, like, she never really got along. Like, you always called her out on, like, the technicality things. Uh, oh, so you mean, like, but, when you... Oh, I'm not... <laughs> you need to do this. That's not my job, but it is. Like, like no, like, our relationship was a little bit different because, like... Like, she wouldn't show up because she was hungover. <laughs> Again, you know? that's not my job, but it is. Yeah, and like, and like we I love went, you. I went through, we like, love you. I went through the whole opening She's process of the bar. Because, <laughs> Just in case, you know? <laughs> so, I went through the whole opening process of the bar. I called in my backup bartender, and so he was there, and the, so she showed up. I still made her come to work, even though she was hungover, drug her ass out of bed, like, Glimping there, and I waited like the two, three hours for her to get there, just, <laughs> just to have her sit down and be like, "Yeah, here's your write up, and you're not working today, so go back home." <laughs> like, yeah, you still have to come here. You what? still have to physically show up. That's actually legally like, a wait, thing. Yeah, like why did you, why did you say limping? No, because like, that's the like she, she that, like that. she was still wearing her sunglasses when she signed. The fucking paperwork. I, to be I, fair, I've seen her lose a shoe on Christmas Eve and bro, get denied an Uber. Uh huh. She can also dance like nobody they dropped else her back on top off. of a bar. You're I selling it. Her. You are selling it. Yes. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> she has like a kid now and he's grown up. Um, no. Aw, he is. He, he's, and he's, he loves a right. fat kid. Right. You we're, know what? We're going to stay Hold on topic. Hold on. While, while we're on that topic. Because we're, on, we're staying on topic all the time. I'm just... I No, I want to clarify. Like I, I've i talked my fair shit. Her kid's turning out pretty good. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I, well, I don't know. I, I, I don't know her I've talked my shit, but her kid's turning out pretty good. So I, I look I, you at know, Out of everything, I, I give credit where credit is due. Yep. How about that? That's everything that saying. I see... And that guy, it's amazing. I think it's awesome. And he, they're so extraordinary. Like, they go out, they do all that. Like, she's a softball mom. Like, they're amazing. Like, yeah, but she's nice. probably drinking and, in the softball stands. Oh, they totally anyway, are. Sh- anyway, <laughs> what... But he loves the he loves the What liquor. made you... He loves the ...go liquor. into right. the service industry? Me? Yeah, you. Uh... Vodka. Yeah, vodka is that Va- what you said? <laughs> I mean, vodka. like that's, that's realistic. I get it. What made you go into this? I table four needs two more vodka sodas. I mean, uh, did I say two? I meant three. There's no one at table four. What are you talking about? They're oh, they must have just left. Can I still get those drinks? No. <laughs> what made me go into the be- uh, my best friend? Oh, uh, was it the McDonald's story? Mm-hmm. McDonald's, my first job. The real McDonald's. So, my best friend got a job, and everybody who knows my family history knows that I just needed to get a job, so I just wanted to get out of the house, and so, uh, she got a job, she was gonna drive me there and back, and fucking nailed it. Like, I was amazing. Like, I I probably could, I was probably the best McDonald's worker ever to exist. Not Alex in Garmage. Oh, fuck no. I nailed it. <laughs> to be fair. Okay. To be fair. To be fair. Okay, to be fair. To we be fair. didn't work at McDonald's. She did. Yes. I'm. A, hold on, However, Melissa. I don't want to speak for us because I don't know. I don't, you've never worked at McDonald's, right? I, I Sonic, bro. Sonic. All right. So there you go. So yeah. Sonic. I'm clarifying. I mean, we're to almost like fucking the fucking... I'm just saying. The, the sharks I mean, sharks and the Jets you. about to go down. Technically. Fucking, we got, we got Sonic on one side. We got fucking McDonald's on the other side. We I don't even know where this podcast is going. <laughs> it's off the rails. There. Mm-hmm. There's cook out over All there. All right. Well, not to even be bullshitting. So, <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> and and it, and, it, and it, the it, secret it, here is ask for round egg yeah, on so your egg really muffin. Really good, but then we can still go back to a place that I cried at work because, like, I worked at the Strawbridge and it was cool and chill. But then they sent me down one random day to the oceanfront in uh, the middle of the summer, and that is where I ended up crying. 
Wow. I, 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 I literally think I was under a table at some point, like my head set on like this. Like this is one of those days. Where, like <laughs> when you look back on it now, you would just be like, no. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, fuck that. We're gonna I'm send out. you to the ocean front. <laughs> no, you're not. Nope. Nope. I don't work there. I work here. Exactly. Uh, I did not sign up for that. The fuck you are letter. sending me <laughs> anywhere? That's All right. Hold on. Like, yeah, but that was like fucking, what, 25 years ago. Well, come on, it still happens now. Like 15 years All ago. I have to Aww. say, I have I have two words, which are technically one, mill red, and put that in the reverse order and figure <laughs> that shit out, because, I mean, we all know what I'm talking about on that one. All right, yeah. so we know, maybe, Ale- we, know maybe Alex is, we know Alex's worst service ever. Really? Yeah, yeah, your, your meltdown and fucking... Oh, you think that's my worst service ever? I thought I recovered pretty well. I mean, I mean all right, so we're like, all right, Melissa, what is your worst service story ever? Like the the one service is like, dude, this is brunch and it is fucked up, and we should close. Yeah. Um, so the power went out. When the power went out, the the gas emergency shut off during a night where we had 350 reservations for dinner. So. You said 350? Yes. Yeah. So we were... We're impressed by... We're impressed by... Oh, is that... It's it's just different. Oh, into it. That's that's busy. Yeah, right. Like, that's that's busy. I mean, it's all relative, right? So, but yeah, there was a a power outage on the block. That caused the gas to emergency shut off. Then you have to go around and make sure that all the pilots are right. It's going to blow your face off when you flip it back on. There's like a big touchscreen panel where you have to go for safety to turn everything back on. But meanwhile, we have diners out in the dark. (laughs) We're running around in the kitchen with cell phone flashlights trying to figure out how to make the rest of the meals. And then eventually we have to tell, you know, 160 people who are seated or ready. Hey, we can make you salad and dessert, but that's it. Cause we don't have any gas. Like I wanted to die. I just, I wanted to crawl inside a, a, a reach in and die. Like, I, it was awful. That's, I mean, that's a rough situation to be in, especially like I, how long do you have? I, this grill will be hot for 10 minutes. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> it's not going to stay hot for like two hours. Like as long as I keep cooking on it, it, no, like it's going to yeah. be hot for 10 minutes. And like, yeah. same thing with the fryer. Like, yeah, I can put out like the next five orders and then I'm done. So I, the, yeah. That's it. Like uh, maybe 100%. six at, in about 20 minutes, you know, like I, I could definitely push maybe uh, everything out of that fryer and get maybe one more order. Like if yeah. you gas power, uh, I mean, those are <laughs> the, the power part. I it, So you said that, that your pilot stayed on though. Like, do you have the uh, automatic gas cut off? I'm not, yeah, I'm not so like that, what is I'm not sure what the regulation so, is in your Right, so that's Texas. so that's what happened, right? The power went out on the block, but when the power goes out, there's an automatic gas shut off and there's like 15 steps you have to take to turn it back on. Well, if you have everything trucking full blast and you don't go through and make sure that the pilots are lit back up and it's just the all, every valve is open and you're just blowing gas, that's one thing, right? And then because we have a a double broiler that's like 650 degrees. So it's like, okay, please turn this off so we don't catch on fire. But then now we have to figure out how to turn the gas back on when the power comes back. Yeah. So it's crazy. Yeah, crazy. I I got nothing. a gas power George Foreman grill. <laughs> <laughs> By the McDonald's the book out of this shit. Uh, I'll, I'll go because I didn't go last time and then we're going to shoot over to Dennis. But yeah, fuck. Yeah, I have, I have, I have two. Um, the the most recent one was a few years back. I'd say probably like five five years ago, and like I was a food and beverage director at a hotel, and I'm on the line. Like we are, the tickets are buried. Like it, like you run out of room on two rails, and the third rail is full, and now the tickets are spooling onto the floor. So now I'm on the line cooking, and trying to call the wheel. And so we, we're, we're in the shit and it's like, we, we get out of it eventually. It took a long time, but then the, the cook next to me was like, I don't know what the fuck just happened here, but I'm not used to this seasoning and everything. And I was like, what? (laughs) What? I looked at him and I was like, what? She's like, I would have walked out of this restaurant. I was like, hold on, time out. Like I'm looking at the cook and I was like, let's go back to, you're not used to seasoning food. 
and cooking, and she's like, nah, hell no, I'd have walked out of this restaurant. I was like, you are the problem. Like, I looked her dead in the face, and I was like, you are the problem. And she cried. But I don't know what else to mm. tell people. Like, mm. but when I was younger, like, I was in my 20s, and I'm pretty sure uh, we worked at the same hotel. And my, my GM, I was the executive chef. My GM thought that, you know, an oceanfront hotel in the summer could operate on an uh, executive chef and a cook. <laughs> <laughs> and so so me and me and the cook like the restaurant opens and so they seat the entire restaurant like so because it like you know the restaurant closes after breakfast and it opens for lunch and so there's a line and the patio uh sat 80 people and the inside sat like another probably 80 i'm gonna go with that's 40 no, higher? Oh, sorry. 120. 120? Yeah. 130? 80, oh. 80, 80 inside, 80 outside. 160. Dude, there was... I think, she, I think she's giving you 200 total. Okay, so hold on. She's like, if you do the math, no, I'm not Billy, give it to her. You, 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 you do the math. You have an alligator next to you? It was, yeah. it was a big-ass yeah. patio. You to take your job? Uh, it, maybe. It was, it was a big-ass <laughs> patio in a big-ass restaurant that is like a, a glass wall that looks at the beach. And they just opened it up and sat every fucking spot. And it's just me and one cook in the kitchen. And so when the tickets like started... like 12 servers. Yeah, 12 servers, two cooks. And so the ticket just started printing and like they spooled on the... Like, we were peeling them off, but we couldn't keep up how fast the servers were. Like, they were just... Like, the servers were just sandbagging, just hitting every table. And sent every table to the kitchen at one time. I mean, with two yeah. people, it doesn't fucking matter. You're not. We we stopped yeah. and took a picture of the tickets and like the pile on the floor. Like, yeah, this. That's this is, you, That's honestly when you just fucking laugh and you're just like, all right, what's the first tickets? This is, this is this is all we can do. Waiting. With two people behind me, like it's always going to be sandbagging. Like it sucks. <laughs> I'm just, yep. Sorry. <laughs> it's I'm the same uh, in the food truck. I'm talking about <laughs> that's twelve servers versus two cooks. <laughs> I get where you're yes, coming from. It's still the it's food truck. The, the, food, the, the, food, truck, the food truck runs the same math. There's still two cooks and one server. Yeah, like not could, twelve cooks and two servers. I have to, yeah, <laughs> like we figured out. A, I yeah, think we, we figured out a good balance. Like we get destroyed on the food truck, like because the tickets come in so fast. Like, <laughs> and there's just like a stack of tickets, and we have to stop. You have to stop at one point taking tickets. We have a clip system. Well, you have to like, like it's when I say a clip system. I talk so fast, like the chip clips. I guess yeah. I should just talk slow. We are literally like we put chip clips in between, like what's been called, yeah. what hasn't been called. It, it is I, that it is, is definitely I, not been called. That I is. Think so. I should just talk slower to everyone. <laughs> well, I mean, like okay, like when you're doing two grand in just food, no alcohol in two hours. Yeah, like that is. Three. That, three so, hours? Three. Okay. three hours. okay, three hours. Sorry, like, guys. That is a lot sorry, of fucking... Sorry to everybody else. That is a lot of fucking... <laughs> sa- that is a lot of $12, $14 sandwiches in... Like, That's... when you're when you're pushing that much volume, and there's only, like, two of us, and, like, sh- taking orders and trying to fucking bag... It's just never... It's just chaos. Like, right. Dooley has been there, and then we bring Dooley, and it's never as busy, and then we go there the next day, and we do, like, 800 more dollars. Dude, in yeah, we got wrecked. <laughs> 65 <laughs> cheesesteaks. The day after you were, or the next week after you weren't there, we got Not fun. my we're gonna We're going to stay focused, and I want to know about the butcher's worst day and his Scotty Quicks kitchen. Oh, yeah. You got all your fingers? Let's start Scott, there. Scotty Quicks? I mean, oh, like, so I mean, oh, he, he it's went... Not even, he went restaurant specific. Oh, I, will. I thought he was going to go like just food industry, but he went restaurant oh, specific. Yes. He because I just Quicks. remember him telling us like how let's, small the kitchen was. I mean, was. let's, let's oh, go yeah. with Scotty Quicks. Yeah, oh, I, you, wow, now yes. now you're all thrown off. You probably had a story yeah, ready. I had it. I had. I had. Yeah. All right, all right we'll, we'll back it up. We'll back it up. Give me your worst, and then we'll go yes. to that small kitchen with all the mushrooms that you can't oh, handle. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, no. The worst uh, though would definitely be Sonic. Which, oh, sounds, which sounds fucking kind of crazy for being, you know, Sonic. You know, oh, two Sonic people on one podcast. This is crazy. You know, what are the odds? 
Uh, right? Dude. What are the fucking odds, right? But at the same time, like it was, it was my first the like double like, supersonic is my shit. Breakfast all day. It's my first food food job and everything. Yeah, breakfast you know, all day. You know what I'm saying? Like, but at the same time, <laughs> um, I was there. It was like about six, like six or seven week. I was there, and I'm like barely 16 years old. Damn and, uh, it. Yeah, they had fu- Sonics. Yeah, back in the 1800s, yes they did. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking goddamn, I knew it was coming. I knew he's it was coming. Like, he's like, I was just, I'm start- just so happy it came from Melissa. Like, I just is- started yes. growing my beard, and boom, Sonics. I already, had, I already had, I already had one beard by then. Thank you very like, much. He's like, I was born with this beard. <laughs> I, had, I had one nostril hair. But and uh, uh, it was about my sixth or seventh damn. week and everything, and uh. Because this was in uh, Ohio, and uh, they, we had a... Is it a drive up, or like when you have horses? A, what? <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know, Melissa, uh, Melissa lives in Texas. Like, do you guys just ride your horses up to Sonic? Are the horses on skates? You, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you see, see, it's not just Dooley that gets shit on, okay? All right. We've been <laughs> holding... I'm surprised he hasn't jumped in yet. We've been holding all day for this. <laughs> But I, don't, I don't want to change subjects. I want this to come up later. Yes, I, that was hard to say. Subjects. Do you think the Amish go through drive throughs Yes, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh, we're not going to talk about that right they're now. They're ride throughs They're not. What? Yeah, oh. they're, yeah, they're not neon. <laughs> it, says, it says if you're not on a motorized vehicle, you can they cannot a, serve you. You can get a DUI. Read it. Read in a buggy, you can get a DUI. It does, I said, uh, I seen the video. I'm just saying, the cops just like let them go. Like it that, says, it that says, horse knows where it's going. On it, it, read it, McDonald's. This says motorized vehicle. That is not a motorized vehicle. That's because down the fucking them. Uh, in, I would hate beach, you as they a cop. fucking use them. But it says that here. It doesn't say that in Texas, Connecticut. Totally. Damn it, Dennis. I'm sorry. Damn. Please. Not, not, not even me. Damn it, Damn it Julie. <laughs> Dennis, please continue on your story. I'm trying to rope this shit in. Yeah. Melissa needs to go to bed. Yes, I do. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, both, of both, both of them. Both of them. All of us. I, I gotta go start dinner. Yeah. <laughs> but me too. I have to figure out a way right. to cheese pizza. Let's, let's tell me your worst day at, at Sonic. First day of Sonic ever was like when I, I said, didn't six, get the velvety cheesy sauce. Well, yeah. it's it's fault. Fault. Jesus yeah. Christ! All right, see, I'm trying over here. I get you. Just saying, you asked about my worst day at Sonic. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> Those bastards. I know, right? Yeah, I want that velvety. I want that velvety. She needs a toaster sandwich again. No, um, the fuck. <laughs> it's anyways, we had a uh, tour bus pull up full of college basketball players. Oh shit. It oh, is the drive-thru. America's drive-thru. Was uh, it? It was, they, you know, they all came up to the little... You know, Were they the Hoosiers? It doesn't matter. I'm listening, but I'm going to go put a couple of things in the oven. Yeah, Just you're keep good. going. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, no. Um, oh, hope it's pizza rolls and chicken nuggets. <laughs> oh, maybe they're dino nuggets and mashed potatoes and gravy. <laughs> Fucking, uh, yeah. She got some Anyways. beans. <laughs> all I know is, next thing I know is the ticket machine starts fucking... You know, did it make the noise? Did it make the noise, or was it like it those like laser fu- printers that's like beep? No, it's Look, not. It's, that's the word. It sounded like Man, fucking Morse code. Yeah, it sounded like Morse code. Everybody. Next thing I know, we got about like fifty tickets coming in, and then the dude that I'm working with, because I'm on the grill, he's working fry, and he's also doing some other stuff. And then also he's like, "Yeah, fuck this shit, I'm done." Oh, he just walked out on He your walked out. I'm the only one left in the kitchen, and I've got literally 50 fucking tickets. At that That's point, I walked nice away from the grill. I'll admit, I, I walked away from the grill. I walked back, and I'm like, fuck my second. Do I really need fuck? this <laughs> job? You know what I'm saying? Like, do I really need this job? But at the same time, like, I was raised with that work ethic. Like, I need to fucking. All right, fuck it. Needless to say, ticket time was about an hour and a half. Oh, yeah, but I mean... But at the same time, I did get everything out, and then as soon as I got done with that, I looked right at him, and I said, either you give me a raise or fuck you, I'm out of here. I applaud you for staying. I don't think... I'm pretty sure all your food is free. Let's go to Quicks. Because no. I know how small that kitchen is. You sent me the picture. I know. Yes. Like, and the volume coming out of that place is amazing. 
Yeah, yeah, fucking. Uh, Sorry. That one was another night where I was. I just can only imagine like more than four burgers would, or four quesadillas would set you back like an hour. Man. Well, with the size four of four quesadillas I, for an hour. Well, okay. Calm you, down. I know. Calm down. <laughs> calm down. Okay, you have to understand how how small this kitchen really was. Like, like I don't think the griddle would hold more than one quesadilla. Uh, well, at the same time, oh, I it, see. It wasn't even just the quesadillas; it was the burritos is what killed us. Because Oof. what are you doing over there, bro? Like, I had to answer a damn text message. Okay, uh, my boss texted me real quick. He wanted to find out, and I'm like, no, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Battle right. on. Continue Battling speaking. On. I feel like I'm watching the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> yeah, no, but, uh, Blair Witch is there. You know how I know. Like Alex is gone, but uh, at the same, yeah, no, uh, like because like for the burritos, how should I say it? It's a scoop and a half of a rice with you know, uh, pretty much. In a sense, I call it fucking fried rice because it's literally peas, carrots, and fucking corn mixed in with the rice and everything. Um, you got that. Plus, you have mushrooms. In every single burrito, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So in every fucking month, every, so, everyone, so you're you're a death door every my, every my, burrito. I'm, I'm literally like gloving up like two times every time I make a burrito because I can't touch it. Because well, if it, I get the oil and everything on my skin, I'm gonna start breaking out and everything, and then that's not a good sign. And at the same time, you have to also fold it on the grill, which the grills, like I said, like the <sighs> it's like fucking like a foot. Two feet? Not even two feet. It's foot and a half. About a foot, about, yeah, pretty much about a foot and a half is how big the actual fucking damn grill is. But at the same time, you still got you know, a cold spot and everything. I mean, it's it's side. a bar kitchen. It's a bar kitchen, but at the same time, 95% of the food on the menu is fried. We have one two-basket fryer. Oh. Oh, man. wow. So imagine whatever... The food you, truck... So what you're saying is the food truck kitchen... The food truck kitchen is bigger than the fucking damn kitchen I worked in at Scotty Quicks. And let's put it this way, and especially during football season, you know how wings are. We cook them for fresh. Oh, so, wow. So imagine whenever you get, I don't know, about like, say, seven or eight orders of fucking chicken wings at one time. And that's not even counting the orders that you're getting from DoorDash. Bro, you're, poor, you're part of the problem. You go in there over 50 wings. <laughs> okay, I pre-ordered, okay? Thank you very you much. pre-ordered, but you still ordered 50 wings knowing that they have a two-basket fryer. I, that's not my fault. You are part of the problem. I don't work there no more, so I can I can do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> I am a customer. Customers are right. <laughs> the customer's never fucking right, but that's beside the point. But yeah, no, uh, literally. Rarely. It was, it was a, one of them uh, Thursday night football games, and... We shut the grill off around, say, about 10, 10.30, because we closed at midnight and everything, so that would give us a chance to clean the grill and everything, and then, you know, this, that. I had uh, about 25 tickets come in right as I'm about to shut the grill off and everything, and they want all their, they're getting wings, and, then, and they're also getting sandwiches and stuff like that we cook on the grill, but they also, all the wings wanted to be grilled, too. So and right. you're, you're solo? All by myself. All by myself, because the person that was supposed to work didn't show up for the shift that day. So, okay, not a problem. Whatever, I got this. I got this. And then, you know, get get those tickets out. And then it's about 30 minutes before we're out to close. You know, they just did last call and everything. Next thing I know, I got another 15 tickets walking in the door. I want soup. I want this. I want that. I want this. I'm like, you know, we're on the fucking late night menu. It's nothing but fried foods. Like, what the fuck? Now with, I your, make... with your two basket fryer? Yeah, with my two basket fryer. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, dude. You're better off on the grill. Like, that's what I was thinking. Like, I, like I can kill, I clean the grill faster than I can fucking damn worry about this damn fryer. Like, shit. But yeah, but the problem was I already fucking put chemicals and everything on the grill, so because that's how they do it there. Nice, good chemical burns from that place. Um, but at the same time, yeah, no, it was a night from hell. Granted, we, we, I think we actually did more in sales on food that night than we did in alcohol mm. oh. by myself. Well, well done, sir. I try. Melissa, we appreciate you hanging out with us this late. On our- oh, it's been, it has been yeah. so awesome. Yeah, I know. It's kind of crazy. Normally, I don't <laughs> like, do this just, long. I mean, to sit around with a bunch of cooks and chefs and, and drunks. Dude, just drunks, yes. Yeah, <laughs> all of the above. And just to have a good conversation about work. And, you know, we got a lot off our chest today. 
Yeah. I mean, it's been an amazing time. I had a blast, and this can't be the last time. Well, like, n- hopefully next be- time it won't be six <laughs> hours. Am I right? <laughs> I, was just, I was just texting. I, I'm a big fan of a, a movie podcast that my friends do, and they have, like, a Discord page, and I was just messaging one of them. I was like, we started at 120. It's still going. He was like, holy balls. I was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, oh, thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful night. Everything that you've done, and thank you for being. Thank you for letting us on your podcast. Oh yeah, well I'm just starting out, so having you on here is like that's <laughs> a huge deal. <laughs> that's a huge deal. You're gonna get me so many subscribers. Of we, course we, hope, we are. Right? You, I don't know. <laughs> hey, get on Deezer because most of our followers are in France. <laughs> in France, it's crazy. We don't we don't make it with just what it is mm-hmm. <laughs> that's awesome well it was a pleasure to see all of you again this was really really fun y'all have a good night thank you all right bye 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 are we gonna do our outro yeah wow. <laughs> just... i'm working on it right now i had it loaded I'm okay, yeah. had i was it like loaded. uh i'm gonna turn the music all the way down because that's her Ready? yeah yep 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 as oh. always, thank you for listening to Team Packet. Choose the fat. You can find us on Facebook at Team Packet. On Instagram at Team Packet Nation. On Twitter at Team Packet One. On YouTube at Team Packet. And of course, you can find us online for all of your knife and apparel needs at www.teampacketnation.com. You can find the food truck on Facebook at Team Packet Food Truck. On Instagram, Team Packet Food Truck. On the Twitter at Fat Underscore Truck. You can call us for all your pre order and catering needs at 757 427 1586. Remember, stay hungry, be creative, and don't forget to sharpen your knives. Praise the Lord, peace, love, and bacon grease. We Sorry. out this bitch. We out this bitch. Namaste. No. Melissa wants to the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs>